morning guys. Oh my god, look at look at me. This is a realistic, absolutely shattered person waking up in the morning who just slept through her alarm. I just slept through my alarm. We got back from Lanzarote at 1 a.m. And honestly, I just look at my eyes, look how puffy my eyes are. I feel like I've just oh my god. I honestly don't sleep through alarms. I'm 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 a pretty good getter upper, but here we are sleeping through alarms. Um so I am gonna make myself a coffee because essential. Honestly, my morning routine at the moment is all over the shop. But I just thought I wouldn't be one of those people who film videos and I'd be like, I'll pretend it's five o'clock in the morning when it's clearly not. It's eight o'clock in the morning because I slept in. I'm just gonna have a bit of oat milk in my coffee. And I need to do some client check-ins this morning, which is great. I love doing my client check-ins. I'm also gonna have a straw. Oh, sorry, how small is that straw? That is the funniest little thing I've ever seen. I do enjoy and love my client check-ins. They make me feel very whole and very happy. And then I have the most insane, insane, insane interval session this morning like it's a bit mad and i'm i feel very unsure about it but i'm gonna crack on doing some client check-ins because i'm obviously now a little bit behind with my whole day and it makes me feel very just not great i was also going to read my book and now i can't read my book it was all good intention putting it out wasn't it but i'm just going to put that away as well but yeah today's video is just training eating everything what i do maybe it's a little bit hectic i feel it already feels hectic but it's a realistic hectic life day <sighs> two hours later i've just sat down for two hours and my feet have swollen like you would not believe this session is fucking horrible it's really i can't announce yet what i'm training for i'm training for three things one of them is very soon i actually don't know when i can announce it it might be when i'm in the actual country doing it god knows and then there's two other ones that definitely involve a lot of running. The first one, the three three things coming up definitely involve a lot of running. And then I have High Rocks Worlds in June. I can't say what they are yet, and I wish I could, but you guys will be the first to know. The session today, okay, I run a warm up for 20 minutes, and then we have 20 sets. We have 20 times, two minutes at threshold pace. So this is four minutes to 4.15 for me and then one minute at moderate pace, which is, I actually don't know what my moderate pace is. I've put from 4.30 to five minutes, and I repeat that 20 times, 20 times, and then cool down. I got sent that workout to do. I'm gonna have a bagel. I'm gonna have a bagel because I need to go into that session with some energy. What? Honey, essential for a run like that. Ooh -hoo -hoo, delish. I honestly, I get nervous before runs like this. It just makes me feel a certain type of way. I was trying to think if there's somewhere I can go and run which is a little bit more exciting, but I just don't think there is. I think I would put myself out of the way. Um, I also, I guess I kind of want to run somewhere that's flat. I am going to enjoy my bagels. Okay, it's time to do the interval run. Um, just need to pop SPF on. Every time I go out the house, pretty much, I will have some sort of SPF on my face because it means that your skin is gonna be much better. I run outside a lot. People always ask this, like, with your skin and your hair and things like that, just a little bit more effort just to look after it because of the elements um, are on my skin. I'm just gonna wipe my hands on my leggings as well. Um, and I'm also gonna pop this in my hair, which is like a leave-in conditioner because my hair, Look at the state of it. Oh my God, it's... When I fly back from anywhere, my hair just goes like super, super frizzy. I'm back out to America a couple of times over the next two months. The first one is wonderful because the first one is for mine and Ben's delayed, belated, whatever you want to call it, honeymoon. And that's so exciting. So we've got two weeks in Florida, Disney. We've had it booked for ages. We've had it booked since the wedding, really. Um, and that is honestly so exciting because we're taking full on time off work. Just getting back from Lanzarote, we didn't actually take any time off work. It was more of like a working trip, a working holiday, but we're actually taking some time off in Florida. Just very well needed. We've had a really stressful January with like the app, the investment, the podcast, loose Davis fit. So just everything has just been a lot. January, February. So yeah, very excited to get away. Current workout split is quite high volume for running. You'll know why hopefully in a couple of weeks when you will know exactly what I'm doing but like the run this morning for example it's an interval session isn't it and it's like 18k's worth of intervals like that is insane I'd usually on something like this I'd usually maybe do eight lots of two minutes I'm doing 20 
and then the recovery isn't even recovery the recovery is also at moderate pace so it's a really really hard session the sessions are getting really just intense i'm obviously training for high rocks world which is in june and that's something i'll always train for but i've also got these three other things that are very running focused very running heavy that i have to account for as well monday i do glutes and hammies like legs to be fair legs in general because i do squats as well with a high rocks wad tuesday is an aerobic easy run but it's now anywhere from maybe 18k to 25k so they're much longer the aerobic runs wednesday i have upper body strength and some sort of high rocks element in there like row ski something upper body sled pull something like that thursday is the hard interval session so a long hard tempo interval based session like i've got this morning friday is i train at hybrid performance and i do one of the classes so it's a full-on high rocks basically feels like a high rock sim like they're really just long hour and a half slog hard classes saturday i have long runs now these long runs aren't just easy they have elements of speed in sometimes they are just an aerobic easy long run um, and it'll be anywhere up to at the moment 40k is my max one that I'm going to go up to. So that's on Saturday and then Sunday we coach a high rocks class and I think I will take it as a complete rest day depending on how I feel sometimes I base it, I don't base it off a week I base it off like 10 days and I'll take a rest day within 10 days um, but I base it off feel usually it will be a rest day or all I'm going to do is just before the high rocks class is just practice my sled push and sled pull because it's not something that I practice too often and I really need to even though my sled pull at high rocks was really good I just like pulled it with my arms I can't do that with pro weight at world so it just gets a little bit too heavy so that is what i'm going to be doing and um, i'm very excited about it it's just the training is a lot the training is quite intense alongside like functioning as a as a human um i'm running businesses i feel quite overwhelmed and a little bit stressed but we're all okay that is stuff that i'm going to take to florida very excited about that trip very 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 excited to spend some quality time with Ben as well. God, I've procrastinated this morning, I tell you that for a fact. Um, I do feel quite good though today, like I don't feel, I don't feel horribly sore, like I, feel, I had a really good sleep, I had a good sleep because I slept through my alarm. Very stressful morning, lots to do, lots to do when I get back from this run. I think I feel nervous because like, I've never, like, I'm not, I do, I do do these distances all the time. It's more so when they're intervals at, yeah, it just, it's hard, isn't it guys? It's, um, it's uncomfortable. But my whoop today actually said I was at peak recovery, peak performance. It doesn't usually say that. However, it has, I'll show it on the screen. I love my whoop and I know so many of you guys do as well. So I've used my whoop or had it on my wrist. I've probably taken it off like three times probably in my life. I absolutely love it in terms of knowing my body, how I'm doing, how I'm getting on. Sleep is a massive, massive thing for me. So knowing I'm getting enough REM sleep, knowing my recovery, my HRV, my resting heart rate. I know when my body's not good. I know when I'm stressed. I know when I haven't recovered properly. And this is very legitimate for how I'm feeling. I'm usually in green or yellow. If I'm in red, something's gone horribly wrong. Okay, so we don't we don't sit in red often. It's not a place that I enjoy to be. No, I really appreciate the stats that Whoop gives me. And I know so many of you guys absolutely love it as well. I do have a link for you, which gives you a free 4.0 band. I got a new band, it's a little bit dirty. I probably need to change it. And also a month free on Whoop. Um, so you can just give it a go and then just see how you get on with it. I know so many of you guys absolutely love it and have found it really beneficial. So I'll leave that link below for you. And yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy it as much as I do. I may have just smashed my phone screen a little bit, but I have a protective case. Yeah, feeling fine, feeling good, gonna go. Weather's gorgeous, life is beautiful, we're grateful. There it is, 20 by two. It's actually 20 by three because there's no recovery between it. Because the, the, it's two minutes on threshold, one minute moderate. So it's actually just go, go, go. I'm also, I'm not wearing a plated shoe. I only really wear them for races, but I was wearing them quite a lot for high rocks training because that's what I race high rocks in. But it was really badly hurt my calves. But they are a fast shoe, so it's hard. I've just got like a training shoe on today, which I guess for intervals, I could definitely wear a carbon plated shoe, but I just don't want to wear them too much. Kind of changes the way that I run. I also don't know how much I'm going to be able to talk to you guys today because it's going to be a hard one, isn't it? I just checked the temperature. It's like it feels so hot and it's 14 degrees. That's really hot for this, for the UK. I feel like this time of year, definitely going to be stripping down, I think, to a sports bar today. Oh my God. <laughs> good for me that I feel really hot and uncomfortable when I'm running. I keep giving clues to what I'm doing but yeah it's good. Maybe I will strip down to a sports bar then so I can appreciate the hotness. Ten minutes after the warm-up 
and then straight in. Got about a minute left to go into the first the 20 efforts. I don't know how much I'll get my phone out. I feel like I really just need to zone in on this session. I spoke about this in the podcast. I struggle a little bit because I want to film so much for you guys. Sometimes it detracts me from the session. Eight in. So hard. So, so hard. Holding like four minutes or just sub four for the two minutes on. And then anywhere from like... 20 to 440 on the one minute monitor. 12 more. Got it. Oh my god. Oh, unreal. Done 12. 20. Not much left to go. I think I've done like 12 and a half K so far. Oh, just gotta keep going. Gotta think of the races I got coming up. Whew. We've done 18. Wow. This is up there, one of the hardest fun sessions I think I've ever done. It's just so long and on and off intervals. And I'm going up a hill and I'm starting intervals in 10 seconds. But that was something else. Just over 19, one hour 23, 422 pace. I really tried hard on that. Oh, it's really hard. I definitely need some new shoes, by the way. What I said was happening to my other nights. Look at that. What the fuck have I just ran on? Bad that. So yeah, I need some new shoes. I need to have a moment. See my recovery is 95% today, which is insane. But then from that run, my strain has gone to 17.2. That is so high for me. So this was the whole session. You can see here, it's all broken down for me. Now my average pace for the two minutes on was 8.402 which is really good. The average was four minutes and I think that's really good for 20 reps of two minutes, like that was holding on. And then for the one minute recovery between, that was anywhere from 4.37 average. No, it wasn't. I can't work out my averages. It was anywhere from 4.20 to 4.40. So we'll say a 4.30 average. Overall, it was 19K, heart rate was 153 and pace was 4.22. I'm really happy with that. It was a session that I was really, really not looking forward to because you know the ones that are so hard and it's like, I don't even know if I can do it. It wasn't, I'm not, I didn't have massive amounts of self-doubt, but I did. I really did. But now I'm gonna wash out my hair mask, I'm gonna freshen up a little bit, I'm gonna do my skincare, and I'm gonna dive back into work and get some food. I have been faffing. I have been faffing for the past 45 minutes since my shower, which is really bad because I've just been doing bits of work on my laptop. I always do this, I get really hungry, and I'm like, okay, I'll go downstairs. I pull my laptop out for two seconds. And then here we are. But I'm basically gonna have granola with yogurt with loads of fruit, banana, nut butter, that kind of vibe. Um, delicious. we have it a bowl that is just so large the reason that i switched from milk to the hay yogurt is because it's got high protein and i realized to maintain all the muscle and do the amount of running that i've got coming up i need to just be in a really really high protein diet which is why i switched to yogurt i switched a few things up i'm having a bit more red meat in my diet and things like that um, taking creatine, all my protein, all my subs, my protein, taking beta alanine, again, all my subs, my protein, discount code Lucy D. And yeah, I just feel like I'm on a really good trajectory with my nutrition. I have a lot of work to do today, which is why I'm not vlogging as probably much as usual. Um, I just made myself another coffee. It's a late one. Not gonna lie to you guys, it's 3.56. I'm having another coffee. I wouldn't usually have a coffee past two o'clock, but here we are. It's like a hazelnut one. It's actually really delicious. It tastes a little bit like chocolate and I'm I'm really here for it. So I've got that with oat milk. I'm just finishing off some My Coat app back end things. And um, the whole app is changing like quite a lot over the next 10 days. Something we've been working on for six, seven months, but you will see it in about 10 days. If you want to get 50% off the My Coach app, train with me, have a hybrid approach for training as well. That's all in there or a beginner approach or high rocks or run your first 5K or start going to the gym or get really strong. Whatever it is, we're here to support you with my coach and all the coaches. And it's very exciting. 
use code YouTube50 and I'll give you 50% off your first month. But yeah, I'm just diving into those apps off at the moment. I'm also sat here because I want to have my legs up because my calves are stiff as bricks. I need to just like really stretch them out. I'll probably do that after I've done this box of work. Off oh, to be fair, like I need to start getting better at stretching. I'm not very good. Hands up, comment if you're really shit at stretching and we need to vow to each other to do it together. Washing, very messy. Um, done some house chores um, for like 15 minutes. I need to nip out now because there was a parcel that was delivered when I was away and it's a pair of running shoes. So I really want to get them and go and see how how they are, how they feel. I don't know what's going, to, going on with all my pairs of night shoes. They've all of a sudden just thought, you know what, I don't want to work anymore. Um, so yeah, nip into the post office. Oh guys, didn't have the shoes. Maybe I've gone to the wrong place. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely not. They just didn't have the shoes, which is really sad. We're gonna just, just... Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the running shoe situation. It's really not good. I need, to, I need to get some more shoes because I've been so complacent with those Nike ones. And they're actually not good for my feet now because they're broken. And the second pair that I've got seem to also be broken. I do have this other pair on the way though. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I will be able to use those and I can give you recommendations if they are good because shoe game is just not strong at the moment. But means I just went out in my car for a short 15 minute trip and I will go home for my short 15 minute trip very hectic real estate day in my life um i just stopped to get petrol to make the trip worthwhile i then also got southern fried chicken wrap monstrosity triple chicken breast thing 683 cows because i've just got a lot to do when i get back and that is going to make life a little bit easier for me today and also i just i think it's important that i'm real with you and i'm having these sort of days where i feel quite on edge because there's so much going on and so much to do but i don't have the time to make some fancy dancing meal i just i just literally just don't so i'm gonna have this as soon as i get back box off some few more work bits i've got a meeting as well at 5 45 45 minutes so i've got enough time the wrap didn't hit the wrap was really not very nice. Oh, but we're home. Sometimes when stuff like that happens, you know, you've gone out your way for like 40 minutes and you've wasted time. I try not to see it as wasted time. I had some time by myself. I sang some, I sang some songs. Now I'm home. Back into work. Hi everyone, back from Lauren's. It is actually very quite late. Um, so I've just whipped up some beetroot, coconut rice, kind of like a barbecue marinated chicken and tomatoes. I'm going to pop some soy sauce on there as well really really nice big meal to end the day and then i will be having probably muesli Mu muesli uh, with oat milk and loads of stuff basically kind of what i had in the yogurt bowl this morning but slightly different i'm gonna add a little bit of mayonnaise to my dinner as well because that is just who i am as a person and then also some cheddar cheese because again that's who i am as a person we're watching something new on netflix called one day anyone see it let me know how it is final meal of the day we're going to have a bowl of muesli with loads of fruit chia seeds oat milk Ooh, too much oat milk cinnamon honey Honey is an essential thing in my day-to-day -day life, everybody. And then the little almond butter. There we have it. Delicious bowl. Um, and I'm going to eat this and enjoy it and then get off the camera and watch this with Ben. So I hope you enjoyed today's video day vlog. Very hectic. I feel like it was a very hectic day. But hopefully you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment what else you want to see from me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.